Months of ads and debates, the closely watched race for governor is coming to an end. Governor Andy Bashir and Daniel Cameron are crisscrossing the state in these last few hours, recognizing how important every vote could be. That's right. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff is here now with a look at their final push. Mark. Yeah, Vicki, Rick, both the candidates have rallies tonight. Democrat Andy Bashir will be in Louisville, while Republican Daniel Cameron will be in Elizabethtown, spreading their message down to the wire. We need new leadership in this state that is going to stand up for the men, women, and children of our 120 counties. At his press conference on Monday in Louisville, Daniel Cameron hit home his main message in nearly every response to reporters' questions. It's because of Joe Biden that we are in the economic mess that we are in right now. So it's a slap in the face in many ways for Andy Bashir to endorse a president whose economic policies have made it more challenging to buy groceries, more expensive to buy gas. A recent poll called the race a tie, with each candidate garnering 47% of the vote. On Sunday, former President Donald Trump recorded this endorsement of Cameron. Daniel Cameron is a young star who has done a great job as your attorney general, always being fair, but very, very tough. Andy Bashir had his own endorsement last week when Jack Harlow attended a rally with him at U of L. For the last year and a half, we've been staying in touch and having that type of relationship. It's been very organic. We've been having dinners, get to know each other. And I just want to say this is a hell of a stand up guy right here. So I think y'all are all holding the right size. In the past two days, Bashir made stops in eastern and northern Kentucky. More than anything, his message has centered on the record number of jobs and economic investment during his term, from the Ford battery plant to the Brent Spence Bridge. The people of northern Kentucky know how hard I worked on making sure that we got this grant and are building this corridor. Now, I didn't do it alone, but the person I did it with is the Republican governor of Ohio. We worked together across party lines to get it done. Now, think about this. Bashir defeated Matt Bevin in 2019 by just 5,100 votes, and that race included a Libertarian candidate. There's none on the ballot this year, so those 28,000 votes that Libertarian got could sway this race in either direction. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.